Hello, fifth grade. Mr. McAuliffe here once again from your classroom here at St. Margaret's. <clears throat> again, kind of quiet, like it's been for the last 10 weeks. I'm here to read to you again this week, just as I've been doing for the past several weeks that we haven't been physically in school, right? Even though you're in school, you know what I mean. And I'm here to read to you again, like I said, um, I picked out a book that I know I've already read this book to you guys in fifth grade earlier this year. I think maybe back in the fall, not positive, but I know I did read it to you. But it's a, um, it's a good book. It's one of my favorites. And I'm reading it to all the other classes uh, as well, um, particularly as we, uh, <clears throat> as we kind of end this... Um, this whole coronavirus thing with uh, learning at home and being locked in our houses for, for a while and not being able to go anywhere or do much. Um, sometimes that, sometimes uh, during that and, and at the end of that, we may have had different emotions that we weren't really sure about and we really didn't like and kind of bothered us a little bit, but that's okay because that's normal. So if anybody thinks that they know the book that I'm um, talking about, let me know before I announce the title. Do you think you know? Like I said, I've already <clears throat> read it to you once this year. Okay, maybe some of you do. The title of this book is <clears throat> Grumpy Monkey, written by Susan Lang and illustrated by Max Lang. You remember this one? Grumpy Monkey? One wonderful day, Jim Panzee woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright. The sky was too blue. And the bananas, they were too sweet. Sounds like a good day to me. Jim was confused. What's going on? Why do I feel like this? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman the gorilla from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. Hmm. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, said Norman. Why are you grumpy, Jim, asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day out today. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. Oh, but look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched over. So Jim loosened up a little bit and stretched out. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Lemur. It's such a beautiful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But your eyebrows, they look grumpy. They're all bunched up, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. So Jim raised his eyebrows. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I said I'm not grumpy, Norman, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. All loosened up. With his eyebrows raised and a fake smile, Jim finally looked happy. But he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. But Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. But Jim who's a monkey himself, didn't even feel like swinging. 
You should roll with us, said the zebras. But Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling either. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance, said Porcupine. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of those things. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, Jim shouted as he beat his chest. And then he stormed off. Hm. Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at all of his friends, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman again. Norman was slumped, his eyebrows were bunched, and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy too? asked Jim. No, I danced with a porcupine, said Norman. Not a good idea. Are you okay? asked Jim. Well, it hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy, Jim? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. But for now, just need to feel a little grumpy. Well, you know, it's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. And Jim agreed. And already, Jim was feeling a little bit better. I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I enjoyed reading it to you. And you know, from time to time, boys and girls, it's okay to feel a little grumpy, right? As long as you're not feeling grumpy all the time. And especially in the last 10 weeks or so that where we've spent a lot of time at home and cooped up inside and not able to do a whole lot of things and um, everything seems to be from home. School, learning from home, and we spend a lot of time together and sometimes it can make us feel a little grumpy, right? I know I felt grumpy over the past 10 weeks at times, and it's okay. Because just, just like Jim says, soon enough, I'll be feeling better, and you will. I hope you guys are doing great. I can't wait to read to you again in person in your classroom, but until such time, please remember, be safe, be healthy, and be strong. Have a great day, fifth grade. Bye-bye.